Hey, this is Anne Kentek, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to produce very cool desktop wallpapers for your Windows or Mac desktop using Photoshop and no external tools or no external graphics. Uh, so I just made a few models. This, this, and this. And they're all using generally the same effect. So let's just get started. Make a new layer or control J. Make it transparent. Right now I'm gonna just put all my other layers in a folder and I'll hide them and then I'll show you how to achieve the effects. Okay, so we have the transparent layer. Now we go to this, the gradient one. If it's in the paint bucket, you just hold in or you hit shift and G I believe, or you hold that on and you hit click gradient tool. Here you could choose your gradient. This is pretty important for the next step. Second, open. Here's the green letter. I just kept it at this because I like the colors and it's pretty standard. And you could change it, but this is how I do it. I hold shift and I move it right. And now it just creates a general gradient. You go to filter. This is the important part stylize, extrude. I kept it at uh, pyramids, but you could change the blocks, and these are my settings. Hit OK, and it takes uh, it takes time to extrude it. You could leave it as this one, and we did a prior a prior background with that. If you want to continue, you could go to distort, wave, and then you can make it. Uh, you could randomize it. I changed it. I kept it at these settings, but you could change it as you will, and it's a matter of playing around until you find something you like. And then let's just go control shift. We'll just do a new layer. Let's say we want to change it, change it up a bit. I have another gradient that I created. You could double tap here to change the presets. And let's do the same thing. Stand right to left. Just to make it a little different. And the main tool we use is the extrude tool, and then you could change it after. Let's change it to blocks this time. And that's cool as is. If you want to change it, then you could also go to distort. You could twirl or wave. I personally like wave a little better. Twirl just looks like a little too unnatural. Change the angle. So don't go too crazy, or else it won't look as good. And there's a background. Uh, let's recommend you do it at uh, at least 1920 by 1080. You could change it up if you have a larger quality screen, you could do like 3000 let's say. So we'll to load, and then here's some just backgrounds you could keep. You know, it's saving the image size. And there are a bunch more cool tools in the filters, but this is what I generally use. Uh, and it's just a very simple way in, let's say, three steps to make a cool new wallpaper that you and your friends could use. And you don't need any other you just need Photoshop. You don't need any plugins or any external graphics to copy.